Back in the late 80s and 90s, renting video games was a fairly common occurrence for people in the Gen X and Millennial demographics. I have fond memories of renting Super Nintendo and N64 games at Blockbuster, Hollywood Video, and even at the grocery store from time to time. Yeah, remember when you could rent games and videos at the grocery store? Shout out to Albertsons! Prices. Albertsons! It's your store! If you didn't get to experience this time period, it went something like this. You would go with your parents to Blockbuster on a Friday night, and sometimes they'd let you rent a game along with a movie. This is how I first experienced such classics as Rocco's Modern Life and Ah! Real Monsters on Super Nintendo. I feel like more often than not, you'd end up renting shitty games, and that's what you'd be stuck playing the whole weekend. Anyway, I recently stumbled upon a list of the most rented games at Blockbuster and thought it would be fun to see what the most popular NES rentals of 1991 were. And if you guys like this, maybe I'll cover other years and consoles as well. First off, we have Monopoly from Parker Brothers. It's one of the best-selling board games of all time, so it's no surprise that the video game version should be popular as well. And it has a surprisingly good reputation. People like this game because it makes the game of Monopoly a lot faster than the real thing. Many of the PC versions of Monopoly would add in drawn-out animations to slow down the gameplay, but the NES can be played extremely fast. It has animations, but you can instantly skip them. I don't think I've ever finished a real game of Monopoly without falling asleep, so I definitely prefer playing it on the NES. Next up, we have Battletoads. This beat-em-up from Rare is notorious for being one of the toughest retro games of all time. The game was apparently created to hop on the TMNT bandwagon, but it's clearly made its way to stand on its own by becoming a beloved NES classic. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. Speaking of the TMNT bandwagon, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game, also made the list as being a popular rental. The 1989 Konami arcade game was a hit, so to be able to play it on your home console was a total game changer. The NES game stood out because it added two new levels. These TMNT beat-em-ups are fun but can quickly get monotonous. If this was the same game without the TMNT license, I think people would have been less inclined to sit through it. However, it's easy to understand why a kid would rent this multiple times if they didn't own it. Super Mario Bros. 3 Super Mario Bros. 3 was released in North America in 1990, but it was still a top seller and rental well into 1991. I first experienced this game in the Super Nintendo All-Stars version, and it was one of the first games I fell in love with growing up. So seeing this as being a popular rental doesn't surprise me in the least. The Simpsons! Bart vs. the Space Mutants! I usually gravitated towards licensed games as a kid because they included characters I already knew and loved. It felt like a safe choice, especially when it came to game rentals for me. However, these games were usually the worst, which resulted in a few rental regrets. Simpsons games in general don't have the best reputation, but I feel like Bart vs. the Space Mutants was still very popular. The game is often described as a side-scrolling platformer, and it is, but there are a lot of random puzzles that need to be solved every step of the way, and it almost has more in common with a point-and-click adventure at times. The main reason people dislike this game is because of the jumping controls, which are hard to get a handle on. Even if it's not the best game, clearly it didn't have to be. Kids wanted to rent anything during the height of Simpsons mania. Baseball games! In all honesty, I'm combining these because I don't have much to say. But I will totally talk about Base Wars! This isn't your typical baseball game. No. This game is played by robots! They say that in the 24th century, robots have replaced the players because they're cheaper. Well, you can't argue with that backstory. When you hit a home run, the ball goes into outer space due to your super robot strength. And besides the baseball gameplay, you can also fight each other. The first time I experienced the fight, I was a little scared. Not gonna lie. There's just something about the size and speed of these robots that I find a little frightening. The music in this game is also pretty rockin', so I'm glad this game made the list. Family Feud! I feel like it actually makes a lot of sense that Family Feud was a popular rental. Think about it. You're with your family, you're at Blockbuster, and they want something they can all play together. So what's better than a few rounds of Family Feud? I unironically enjoy watching the show, and I like the SNES and Genesis version, so I'm down with this too. They said Number one answer. Richard Dawson was creepy as hell, but he was also my favorite host, so I love the fact that this is based off of the Dawson era. The host even kisses the female guests, just like in the show. That is insane. <laughs> 
G.I. Joe! The final game on the list that was a big rental was G.I. Joe. There were two G.I. Joe games released on the NES. The popular one was published by Taxon, and that's the one we are talking about here. The less popular game was called Atlantis Factor by Capcom. I'm glad to see that wasn't the big rental because it's not nearly as awesome. Again, this is a case where having a huge license name helps sell games. Unlike The Simpsons game, G.I. Joe is excellent in my opinion. You go through different side-scrolling levels and play as a bunch of the classic characters from the cartoon. Each character has different abilities. For example, some jump higher than others. Another cool aspect to the game was all the different vehicles you could drive around. Like the buzz borer that climbs on walls, kind of like Grant in Castlevania 3. The graphics, music, and gameplay are all top tier for an NES title. What are some of the games that you remember renting? Or better yet, what year did you rent most of your games? And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Bye! Wow, what a difference. Bye, bye.